Grand Rising family, Grand Rising. Um, I hope you all are doing well. I I had to do this video. Um, let me take. Let me go outside because my son is loud. Actually, no. Let me take him to go in his room or something. All right, yeah, guys. So I've been dealing with my migraines. I don't know. It might be allergies, pressure. I don't know, but I've been dealing with it. So I won't try not to make this long. But um, first of all, I want to, my heart goes out to um, Stace, a.k.a. Jabu. Hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, if you all follow, um, <clears throat> excuse me, changing the narrative, you'll know what's going on. Um, I want to first say I have no idea how you feel um, because we have not been through the whole visa process and things like that. Um I can only imagine how you feel with being gone for a year with, you know, um, not being with your wife. Um, also second for freedom chasers as well. I know that you all, um, have been, I guess, going through the visa thing too, as well. So, um, I want to talk today about a little bit about, um, our lives and, um, I want to also give my opinions, right? All right. So I know a few people like are wondering or, you know, have reached out to me, um, just kind of wondering like why we brought land, where we brought land at. And one, I want to say, we know what we're doing when it comes to like our lives, right? Um, I'm glad we did. All right. And I'll tell you why. All right. So, um, and I know a lot of people are like, when are you going to Africa? When are you going to Africa? We will be going. Um, and of course, you just have to keep watching to know when. Um, we, we don't move according to what, how everybody else is moving, right? There was a period where it was a hype where, oh, leave Babylon, and oh, we're going to Africa, and this, is and that. I never was on that, right? Of course, I, I want to go, still want to go. Yes, I did have that urge to wanting to go, right? But I never wanted to, like, go just because everybody else is going. No, it was more of a spiritual thing for us right and I feel like some and again this is no pointing fingers or anything you know for people search situation but I feel like some probably did move according to you know the height right um but for us, we're taking our time. Um, it's not easy trying to figure out this thing, you know, trying to figure out the income, trying to figure out, um, you know, what country or what part of Africa will, um, you know, allow us to stay this amount of time or that amount of time. Because each each one is different. It's definitely different. Um and the process is not easy for a lot of different parts of Africa. It's not. And that's what makes it challenging. And that's what makes it hard for us, right? No, we're not asking for a handout. We're just asking for a, l a little leeway on the rules, right? Well, it is what it is. I don't see any leeway, right? Um, so we have to move accordingly, right? Okay, so we've looked at that. We've looked at the expenses. Um, you know, we looked at, we, we also look at our family size, if our children are going with us, because we really don't know, right? Um, we're looking at, if it's just my husband and I, how are we, you know, going to go about with certain situations? So that is challenging. That is challenging. Um, it's not like here in the States how they're allowing um, people to come over, you know, from other countries. Um, and it seems this new program is very easy for them to come over here. But it's not the same for us to go outside um, to these different countries. It's not. Um, and unfortunately, it is what it, it is. What it is. 
it's upsetting and it's discouraging. Um, it's, it's a lot of money involved that you're wasting. Not only that, when you have that spirit or that um, desire to be there and somebody tell you, you got to go. Like that's, that's heartbreaking, you know, because some of us, and I can't say me and my family as of right now, has not only packed up their entire family and lives, but they have sold everything to make it work in another part of the world. And that's a lot. That's not something as simple. So it's hard, you know. Um, so I want to say with that being said, that I this is my opinion, my advice. You take it, you leave it if you want. I would recommend that you not sell everything. If that is possible, because I don't know what is going on in your household, you may have to. Um, but if you don't have to, don't do it. Do not sell. Like if you have a house, don't sell your house. Rent it out. One, because you never know when you pack up and you leave and you go to Africa or you go to Mexico, wherever it is that you go, you're going. You don't know if the rules are going to change. You don't. It can be one way, one year. It can be a, another way in a couple of months. You just don't know. So you want to make sure that you have that backup plan in place. It's, it's very important because one, is going to save you money. And two, it's going to save you from being homeless. Now, if there's a situation where you have to sell your home, Maybe make plans with a family member or a close friend and be like, hey, no, we don't want to think negative, but you have to also have a backup plan and, and think outside the box. Hey, tell your friend or your family member, hey, if X, Y, and Z happen and I have to come back, do I have a place you know, here where I can stay for however many months, a year, years? Is that okay? Then you're good. You good because one thing about it, right? We come from here. We come from America. It it is what it is. This is our home, right? No matter how much we say it's not, it is our home. And obviously, because they tell us to go back, we have to go back. This is where we came from. Um, being that this is our home, we can at least agree that when we come here they can't they can't tell us to leave because this is where this is where we come from so with that being said my opinion wherever you're coming from if you're jamaican if you're american if you're from the uk wherever it is that you originally not originally well you were born have a backup plan because you just don't know. And I've always had that fear in the back of my mind with being on this journey is to have a backup plan. So I'm glad that my family, we're doing what we have to do as a backup plan. Because you don't know. You really don't. So that's all I'm saying, you know, have a backup plan. Because, and, and, and another thing, you know, I've heard quite a few people, oh, I'll never go back to America. I don't say that no matter how I may feel. I don't say that because you never know. You really you really never know what life will throw at you. Um, you just don't know. So I wanted to make this video. Like I was debating, should I make it? Should I not make it? I don't want nobody to think I'm stepping on anybody's toes because I'm not. I'm just making this video because I just feel like I need to say this and I need my people to listen and hopefully take this advice, you know, um, no matter how you may feel, you will feel a little bit better if you at least have a backup plan in place, just in case, just in case, you know, um, things go left. Um, 
that's pretty much it. You know, have your backup plan and try not to sell up everything if it's possible. I mean, if you do, again, get with a family member or a friend that you, you you know, you trust and, you know, talk to them. Hey, tell them the situation, what it could be, what it possibly be. Hey, will you have room for me? You know, or will you have room for my family? You know, because I would rather you have a backup plan in place than rather not have a backup plan in place. And then you like, oh my God, you know, it's devastating if you don't. It's a devastation, you know, um, because you'll find yourself like staying at hotels, not saying anybody is, but you'll find yourself staying in hotels and spending all this extra money that is just unnecessary, you know? So yeah, just make sure you have a backup plan, guys. Um, that is it for this video and I wish everyone well. Um... I pray and hope that the system change and when it changes that it's permanent because that's the thing permanent and when I say permanent I don't mean for like a few couple of years like permanent forever um that it will change because we want to come back home we want to come where we originated from and it did take us away we want to it's not like we don't want to trust me this is not easy packing up and going somewhere you really don't know nothing about. So, you know, so anyway, you know, hopefully things will change and it will change permanently. All right, guys. So I hope, um, you know, this video was somewhat helpful. Um, not by any means. It's, it's a negative video. Um it's just to give you some things to think about and to put things in place. Um, and also want to touch up on another thing before I close out. Um, always use your judgment. Um, follow your mind when it comes to certain things. I feel like it's not going to lead you wrong. Um, try not to too much listen to it everybody um how can I say it everybody's situation is different um there's a lot of people that will give you advice or you know take it and analyze it and and then you make the best decision for you because not everyone is open and not everyone is going to tell you all the details of of what's going on with them. Um, especially when, you know, moving abroad, you know, you'll find like a lot of people are there. They don't, they don't even go through this. Um, you don't know what is actually going on with them. You know, like you don't know if they have income coming in, you know, and that's why they're able to stay or if they're even doing it the right way, the legal way, you know. Um, so make sure you always um, just take certain opinions of, of others, analyze it, and, um, and then you make the best decision for you. Um, and also, you know, sometimes people will try to make you feel bad for the decisions that you make. Only you, first of all, God, and you and your family and your situation can know what's best. Put it like that. You know what's best. You know, God and you and your family know what's best for you and your family. And don't let anybody make you feel bad for any decisions that you make pertaining to your family. Don't let them try to, to to pull out the religion card on you and all this other stuff because at the end of the day, the only person that can judge you is God, period, period. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's all I have to say about that. And um, yeah, I'll catch you all on another video. Bye.